Well, now, according to the Bible, the Garden of Eden must have trees pleasant to the sight, and it must have gold and onyx stone and a river of four heads. Is this one of the rivers? This is the Pison River, which is mentioned in the second chapter of Genesis, when it says a river went out of Eden to water the garden and parted and became into four heads. The tree life from Chattahoochee to Bristol is the largest of any other area in the world. The Bible names 28 trees. The best authority on earth have identified 27 of them here and many, many more, including the gopher wood tree. The Bible names those four river heads as the Pison, the Gihon, or Gihon, the Hydekel, and the Euphrates. The first one was the Pison. The Bible says that is it that compasses the land of Havilah, which was North Florida before the flood, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is G-double-O-D. The Bible used that adjective to describe the North Florida gold to further tie down the exact location of the Garden of Eden. The next verse says there's also Bedellum there, which is nothing but rosin out of pine trees that God instructed Noah to pitch the ark out of, and onyx stone, which is marble. And North Georgia, right where this great river has its source, is one of the largest marble areas in the world. The Tate Marble Quarry and Company there, Tate, Georgia, is one of the largest. So the natural monuments, definitely mentioned and described in the Bible as being related to the Garden of Eden, are here. And they are not anywhere else on this earth.